Now the countdown to the Rio Olympics is well and truly on. We're just 140 days away from the opening ceremony and some athletic stars hoping to be there in action in Sydney this afternoon at the Sydney Track Classic to take us through all the big events. Athletics Australia staple and part of the Mossy and Robbo dynamic duo, duo Dave Robertson joins us. And Dave, you must love this time of year when athletics is given the chance to really take centre stage. Yeah, that's right, Georgie. It's, uh, it's like Christmas for, for athletics and it is. It's coming into the really... The peak time and with Rio coming up as we know you know with athletics it gets a chance to really shine in the spotlight mm -hmm. once every four years mm -hmm. especially and uh, at the moment we've got a feast of athletics ac activity and it's funny how the athletes come out of the woodwork when there's a, <laughs> a chance to get that green and gold Olympic track suit on as well so lots to look forward to. Yeah and we've got a couple of big names in action later on tonight as well. Let's start with Ellen Elson so she's the defending champ in the 200 metres. You expecting big things from her? Yeah look a great story there Ellen Elson. She was was actually uh, at the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games the last time Kathy Freeman and Mel Gaines for Taylor were, were running. She was six years old. She has now become the fastest person to run 200 metres in, in Australia, an Australian woman, uh, since those guys were doing their thing in Sydney. So uh, as we see here, Ella Nelson, she's already got her qualifier. She's got a few of them in the bag. Mm -hmm. She's run yeah, phenomenally well and she's the national champion at the moment. Mm -hmm. She's probably not going to have a, a huge contest tonight at the Sydney Track Classic where she looks to defend her crown. Mm -hmm. uh, but she is on fire at the moment and we're looking forward to really big things with the time she's running she's look she's capable of making a final um, at a world champs at but, an Olympic but level possibly a medal or is that that I'd love to, I've never really too out. far <laughs> look I've interviewed Ella myself uh, a few times and she's got such belief in 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 her own abilities and I why not? Let's dream. And don't rule out a Stephen Bradbury moment as well. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> she can do it. She could probably do it all on her own, though, yes. Miriam. She does have the, a couple of big scalps as well with Sally Pearson. She's mm. defeated her a couple of times. So we wish her well. Someone else will be watching tonight, Danny Samuels. She continues to impress. She sure does, Georgie. Yeah, Danny Samuels is an outstanding name uh, of athletics, I guess, in, in the recent five or six years. She's the 2009 world champion. Uh, she's finished ninth and twelfth at the last two Olympic Games. So I guess some unfinished business for her there at an Olympics level. Mm. But we saw her last season really consistently throwing. We see some footage here from her a victory at the Sydney Track Classic last year where she threw big 66 metres. 67 uh, metres, 99 is her PB. She's sec currently ranked second all time and I'm predicting in the next, maybe tonight, but pr predicting in the next six months we might see a new national record there from Danny. Yeah, when you look at that vision, she is just so strong. So fingers crossed that she can have a very strong performance again this afternoon. Now, Dave, take us through another couple of events to watch. The men's middle distance, always very tight. Both the women's and the men's will be yeah. ex extremely exciting to watch tonight. But the men's in particular, uh, the current 1500 metre national record holder, Ryan Gregson. Now, he's undefeated uh, throughout this season. His training partner is a 20-year-old kid by the name of Luke Matthews, who mm -hmm. recently had the audacity to take on uh, current Olympic gold medalist and world uh, record holder in the 800 metres mm -hmm. and try and pass him with 150 metres to go uh, down in Melbourne. But uh, the two of them, they're, they're great mates, they're good training partners, and tonight it's going to be uh, gloves off and we'll see who can come out on top. They'll both be vying for that Olympic qualifying time again. Mm. And really, you know, if they both get that, they'll both be happy in, in each other's performances, I'm sure. But, you know, always bragging rights when the training squad <laughs> uh, battle it out. Dave, very quickly, almost out of time, main medal hopes for Rio. Look, Sally Pearson is our defending gold medalist in the 100 metre hurdles. Uh, she's got a pretty... Uh, significant injury that she's got to come back from. Mm. She's not getting back into competition. We won't see her in action in the next couple of weeks, but she's building back, so fingers crossed she can get back to the level that we know she can get to. Um, and on top of that, Eleanor Patterson in the women's high jump, and she's in action tonight okay. at the Queensland yeah. Track Classic. Yeah. She's the Commonwealth Games gold medalist. She's still only a teenager. Uh, she could do some very, very big things at that level as well. Oh, Dave Robertson, we'll be watching intently this afternoon. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Yeah, guys, so Thank that you. is all on this afternoon. Thanks, Georgie. Thank you, Georgie.